Thank you. And if you want, won't you sit down? Well, Willie, what brings you here? Well, George, I won't be here very long, but I'd like to ask a favor. Anything, Willie. Could I borrow your car for a few hours? Well, of course. What, uh, what happened to yours? <clears throat> to mine? Well, I had an accident, a terrible accident, and this girl might be dying. I've got to get her to a hospital. <laughs> this girl? Yeah. Oh, it was terrible, George. Wasn't it, Miss Jones? Yeah. <laughs> George, yes. we were driving along, see, when all of a sudden this big truck smashed into us head on. Gee, I didn't know what to do. It was awful. Wasn't it, Miss Jones? Yeah. Yeah. Our car rolled over. I squeezed out of the window. But there was Snookums pinned yeah. under the car. Snookums? Well, in time of danger, people get very close. Well, naturally, yes. Right, so, Snookums? Yeah. <laughs> I bent down, George. I didn't know whether she was unconscious or not. I still don't. <laughs> I, tri I tried to lift up the car. <clears throat> I couldn't do it from this side. Cause or heavy, yeah. yes. So I went to the other the side. The other side, I yes. tried to lift it from here, George. Mm -hmm. And by exerting all my strength, I lifted this car three feet in the air. And there was Miss Jones. And, and... Hey, look at those carnation recipes there. <laughs> Miss Jones is under the car, Willie. Well, Miss Jones, listen, if you want to make delicious whipped toppings for puddings, pies, and shortcakes, use undiluted carnation evaporated milk. Carnation is also wonderful for cream sauces for creaming vegetables. Or you can mix it half and half with water in recipes that call for milk. And the girl is under the car, Bill. Now look, this is the recipe grocers are featuring this week. It's pumpkin pie made with carnation evaporated milk. That's the most delicious pumpkin pie you ever tasted. My mother uses carnation all the time, and she makes the most delicious pumpkin pie. I tell you what we'll do. You come with me, we'll go, we'll go to my house and have her fix it some, huh? Wait a minute, Bill. What? You forgot the car. Oh, the car. I was down there lifting this car. <laughs> Three feet in the air. Miss Jones was... Drop the car. Drop it. Now, Willie, why don't you go to your mother's, have her fix this pumpkin pie, and tell her to save me a piece? Well, why don't you lend me your car and I can bring you a piece right away? No car. Well, tell Gracie I'm sorry. Come on, Miss Jones. Wait a minute, huh? What do you mean? Now, what's Gracie got to do with this? Well, I tell you, you, you just tell her that a certain old creep wouldn't go for it. <laughs> She'll understand. A certain old creep? Mm -hmm. Do I know who this is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on, Mr. <laughs> she took Gracie's carnation cookbook. Miss Jones. Miss Jones. Miss Jones. You know, I don't see what Bill sees in that girl. Granted, she's a beautiful girl and has a gorgeous figure. But it must be pretty dull to spend an evening with a girl who says nothing but yeah. <laughs> But I think Bill is a very, very nice boy, and I like Bill. And I like Bill because he like. Oh, the Martins, I gotta let them in, pardon me. Oh, just a second, Glenn. Well, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Harry. Sometimes you are a gentleman. Huh? <laughs> oh, George. Come on in. Oh, you got your coat on? We better ride. Blanche, you better get our clothes. The horses are here. Oh, my God. Sit down, Blanche. She takes a little while. I'll take a look. Say, George. Yeah? Will you do me a favor? Don't make me sit next to Gracie this time like last game. I couldn't even explain the kickoff to her. Well, maybe you didn't explain it right. Well, how would you explain it? Well, the uh, quarterback puts his left end on one side of the field. Is right end on the other side and kicks off. Well, I don't blame him. That would kill anybody. <laughs> Gracie, hmm? tonight you're sitting next to George. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, Blanche, we'll have to borrow your car tonight. You don't mind, do you? Oh, of course not. Oh, uh, just a minute, Blanche. I loaned our car to Jim Seward. He's going to Yuma to get married. He is? Oh, that's terrible. 
Yeah, but he hasn't found it out yet. <laughs> Look, uh, what's, what's all the fuss about? We can use our car. Oh, no, Doug. Uh, you know you let Phil Goodwin have it? Oh, no, I didn't go for that story. Our car is in the garage. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Blanche. Oh, let's no, go. no, no, wait a minute. Um, I- I've got a wonderful idea. What? Let's walk to the game. Walk? Yes. Five miles? Five miles? Are well, you silly or something? Walking is good for you. It contains vitamins. <laughs> Look at my sister Bessie. Nobody walks like Bessie. Nobody is built like Bessie. <laughs> no. <laughs> the silliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Stop. What? Nobody is going to ride in the car. Why? Because. Because it's dangerous. Why, every, dangerous? Why, sure, every day you, you read about some car hitting a pedestrian. We're going to walk. <laughs> Look, Gracie, are you ashamed of our car because the fender is dented? You know about that? <laughs> I did it this morning. You did it? Yeah, when I backed out of the garage. Well, George Burns, I'm so mad at you, I don't think I'll ever talk to you again. Come on, Harry, at the game tonight, I'm going to sit next to you. <laughs> <laughs> George and Gracie will be back in just a second. But right now, I'd like to talk to you all about something. It's pumpkin pie. Now, do you know what the secret of making a delicious pumpkin pie is? Here's the answer. Carnation evaporated milk. Pumpkin pie made with carnation milk is the richest, creamiest, smoothest pie you ever tasted. Ask your grocer for the recipe. And remember, you can use carnation in any recipe that calls for milk or cream. Well, now, for instance, I'll show you. Uh, I need a cup for this bit, and I, I always have a pocket full of cups. Pardon me. There we are. Now, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put it on the table. Now, in place of cream, you use it just as it pours from the can, like this. When you need milk, you just add an equal amount of water. Like this. Pretty simple, huh? And yet, folks, carnation costs just about one-third less than bottled milk. So isn't this a terrific saving? Wonderful. And now, there's just one more thing I want to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Jones, will you come out here, please? Isn't this beautiful? I mean the pumpkin pie. <laughs> and now, folks, here at George and Gracie you get. Mother is a good cook. That was delicious. <laughs> well, Gracie and I will be back again in two weeks. And uh, I was just told that we're about uh, 40 or 50 seconds short, and I'd love to do some little thing, but we're not prepared. I am. Uh, <laughs> you see, uh, it's, tell you about it's, Mr. Paley. it's it's uh, it's uh, very it's, Mr. Paley it's very hard to time to time the show. I can't to time the show unless you know how long you got to do it. You you might but not. Mr. Paley you, came to my you, dressing room with two glasses you, you of champagne just a little while ago. Did you know that George about Mr. Paley coming to my dressing room? Came back just a little while ago with two glasses of champagne. Two glasses of champagne. Two glasses. Yes, he did. Mr. Paley. Yes. Two glasses. Yes, and he said to me, he said, well, Gracie, here's to your health. Let's think bottoms up. Well? Well, isn't that kind of an awkward position? the program tonight with Bob Sweeney as the tax assessor and Marilyn Clark as Miss Jones. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show will be back in two weeks. Stay tuned for The Show Goes On with Robert Q. Lewis on most of these stations. 
This is Bill Goodwin speaking for Carnation. Nice. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcast.